against the wall. Buonasera! Oh, I didn't, I wasn't expecting anyone. Thank you for coming. We have a very special dinner tonight. My house is like 95% done. It is such a great feeling, and I finally feel like I'm home. So tonight I have my amazing friends here, and it's my first dinner party, and we're doing a traditional Italian dinner, and I'm gonna tell you what all is included in a traditional Italian dinner. So first of all, salute. We have a little bit of wine that Lair brought over. Thank you, Lair, for filming. What do you want, cheese? All right, we have tons of guests here tonight. So we're starting the Italian meal with antipasti. They come before the meal. Usually this is enjoyed with cocktails or a little glass of wine. We have some smoked turkey sausage, homemade ricotta that my father made. It's a salted firm ricotta. I made these pesto stuffed mushrooms. These are eggplants that my mother, Carm, made. They're marinated eggplants with garlic and pepper and vinegar and deliciousness. Some crostini, some gherkins. <clears throat> so we're gonna start with this. After the antipasti, come this way, Lair. Oh, and look what we have here. The floor is done! Woo! Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Cooking Live is filmed before a live studio audience. Thank you, live studio audience. So, uh, you start with antipasti, a little, a little beverage, a little adult beverage. And then after, after your antipasti, you take a breather and you have your pasta, which is called um, il primo. So that's the order, antipasti, and then i primi. So tonight we're gonna have uh, this pasta that Aunt Mare brought me over, and I think it looks delicious. It's a unique shaped pasta. I can't wait to try it. It takes 12 minutes to cook. <clears throat> but I'm not gonna cook that right now because what I've been cooking all day is an traditional Italian favorite, and the recipe is already at carlofuda.com. You can make this one of two ways. These are traditional, slow-cooked Italian spare ribs, essentially pork meat cooked in sauce. Your nonna probably made it if you're Italian, and if you're not Italian, you may have known a nonna that has made this, and it is pork meat cooked in sauce. You cook it slowly, and that pork meat I mean, I'm gonna use a spoon because it's so tender. Look at that, it just tears right apart. Larry, are you filming that, that beautiful tenderness? Because you cook it slowly. And I have the recipe already up at the blog. And what you do is, we will serve the sauce from this with the pasta, which is il primo. In secondo, or your second dish, is then meat, which will be the spare ribs with a contorno. Contorno is a vegetable, sometimes a salad, and today we have some fresh zucchini, some pink Himalayan sea salt, thanks Lair, and olive oil, and that's it. You just saute them in a pan, and that's gonna go great with the meat. And then, <coughs> excuse me, after that, we're gonna have some fresh fruit, as is traditional in Italy. You eat fruit after you're done eating. And then we're gonna have some delicious cookies that my good friend Haley brought over the other night and we didn't get to eat all of them because she brought so many, so we're gonna enjoy them tonight. These delicious pumpkin cookies, tis the season, with espresso. Here we have regular, and guess who doesn't drink regular this late at night? You guessed it, Lair. So I made you decaf, Lair. I made Thank you decaf. You. You're welcome. So that is the traditional Italian meal. Antipasti, primi, secondi, contorni, Frutta dolce caffè, and that is how we eat in Italy whenever you sit down, especially at my aunt's house. So we're gonna go and enjoy this antipasti. Uh, I'm excited to try the pesto stuffed mushrooms, and if everyone says they're good, I'll post the recipe. But in the meantime, go to carlofuda.com, and you can find the recipe for these slow-cooked Italian spare ribs and tomato sauce. You can even do them in a crock pot. It takes about four hours, much easier. The recipe's there, just follow it, throw them in your crock pot, and let them roll. So thank you for watching. Be sure to share. If you can't tell, I'm in a great mood. It's not because of this, it's because I finally got a floor. Woo woo! So I will be having cooking classes here at the house coming very soon. We're still working on my uh, kitchen downstairs, because you know, Italians usually have two kitchens. So that's in progress. But if you'd like to book something in the meantime at your own house, just go to bocafuda.com, 
I wish you a great weekend. Salute, ciao, and buonasera.